Do you recognize it? Yes. And what is it? It's a tape sealed manila envelope. Um, it says that it contains a seat belt buckle from, uh, I can't read what this says, but it says from a stroller. Okay. And you conducted analysis on this uh, item? Yes. Request to publish on the EP or Elmo, Your Honor. States Exhibit 47.4 for the record. Is that the belt buckle? Yes. Would you mind sh turning the label around so I can see what exhibit number? Thank you. Yes. yes. And you said again that uh, what were your findings in regards to this item? So on that item, I took a swab from that item, and Griselda Hernandez was not excluded as a source of the human DNA on that item. Thank you. And what does, uh, what does not excluded mean? Not excluded means that when I made the comparison between the unknown profile and the known profiles of the three individuals, that there was a match between the profile of Griselda Hernandez and that item. Okay, uh, so let's move on. So now, uh, let me show you basic number four. Uh, may I approach around? So can you tell us what this pertains to in your report? So state's exhibit four is my exhibit 15-8. That's on a separate report. That's not on this report. <coughs> it's on a state's exhibit. So would that be on state's exhibit? By 20? Is this the serology report from February? February 5th? Yes. yes. Uh, let me try so, what does State's Exhibit 4 correspond to in this report? So they're labeled as two DNA swabs, um, and I labeled them as um, there's two items in here. And so they were subbed out as 15-8-1 and 15-8-2, and I labeled them as swab from R. Burgos albulus. show you it's been marked as state's exhibit seven your honor approach you, liberally please thank uh, you thank you your honor. can you tell us where that corresponds to and which of your reports would be the february yes this would be the february 5th serology report as well this is my item 15-7 um, there's four items in this envelope um, which i subbed out um, they're all four swabs. The two first ones, number one and number two, are from a Cricket cell phone back and front. And then items three and four are from a Samsung cell phone front and back. And what did your, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll show you State's Exhibit 21. Can you tell us what your findings concluded in regards to these items? I guess we can take it. First was Vigenda. 21, was that one Thank of the you. ones that was originally admitted? Yes, Your Honor. That we don't have as it admitted. Wait, I Do you have it, Cindy? Can you check your list? 21? 521. Yeah, it's 521. I had asked. Oh, uh, 521. It was about we six We heard you four. say 21. No, no, 521, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Thank you. So again, uh, can you tell us what the findings were in regards to uh, the items that you just stated or state's exhibit? Yes, uh, Seven. Seven. 
Um, so just to clarify, for serology purposes, for the screening of the items, um, the four items in States Exhibit 7, which were my 15-7-1, 2, 3, and 4, they all were positive for the presumptive presence of blood. Um, do you want me to cover 15-8 as well, the previous? Yes. So 15-8, um, they were just retained because they were just swabs taken from an individual. They didn't have any biological soiling on them. So they were one of those touch DNA swabs that I described, so I just retained them without any uh, presumptive testing. And then do you want me to yes, look at the DNA results? Yes, and what were the results, your findings? direct us to the page number of the report? Yes, so I'm trying to find them first on my no report. Worries, no worries. Okay, so, so we're looking at 15, 7, 1, 2, 3, and 4. If it'll help, would you you know what page it's at. Will you, will you direct the witness to that page, please? Yes, sir. I think you already had it then. Yeah. So yeah. if you go to page three okay. of your forensic DNA report. Yes. Uh, proceed. Mr. Yes, so I have. Proceed. I have um, 1574 here. So there's human DNA consistent with two contributors on that item. Dominic Hernandez is not excluded, and Griselda Hernandez and Ronald Burgos Aviles are excluded as a source of the major contributor of human DNA on that item. There was additional human DNA not attributed to Dominic Hernandez, but was of an insufficient quantity and quality for me to do anything with that additional DNA. So what does that mean? So that means that there's a major profile that I can attribute to someone or make a comparison with someone, and then there's very low level amounts of DNA that I don't feel comfortable using. It's just not, an, it's not enough to use it to make any sort of comparison. So I don't make a comparison to anybody. I just say that there's an insufficient amount to do anything with it. Okay, so you, would it be safe to say you would need more uh, DNA matter? Or so Correct, I would, need, I would need a more robust profile. Okay. So, even, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say there was a major contributor and that's who I made the comparisons to. So from the major component of that item, Dominic Hernandez is not excluded and the other two individuals are excluded. And again, when you mean not excluded, what does that mean? that there's a match between the known profile and the unknown profile. And uh, it was on which item? The, can you tell us again? 1574, which is the Samsung cell phone, the back. Now how about, if you look right here, same port, down maybe one to two paragraphs. Okay. What do your findings show there? So that one is, so if you go to the paragraph before that, it talks about the Cricket cell phone front. I don't know if you wanted to cover that as well. That's 15-7-2. Yes. So on that one, there were, there was DNA consistent with originating from two or more contributors on that item. Dominic Hernandez and Griselda Hernandez are each not excluded, which means that when I compared the profile on the item, which is a mixture profile, they each could not be excluded as a contributor of the DNA, and Ronald Burgos Aviles is excluded from that item. That's the cricket cell phone front. And then the following paragraph? So the following paragraph is a match statistic, so it's basically giving the jury 
the weight of that evidence because when I say not excluded, what does that mean? Um, so the match statistic that we use is called a random match probability. It means what is the chance of me going out into a random population of people, so the jury, for example, if I pulled one of you and developed your known genetic profile, what is the chance that your profile would also match that on the unknown sample? And so in this case, for those items that we discussed, um, the RMP or the random match probability is, and I'll give you the most conservative one or the smallest number, um, would be one in 53 octillion people. Can you explain that number in layman's terms uh, for us? Um, so people like to think of it as like, what's the population of the world? That's typically what I get asked, which it has nothing to do with, it's a statistic. But there's seven billion people on the planet, and this would be like many, many sets of decimals over from that, it's octillion. So I would say that this profile is very rare in a population. So it would be very hard to find another individual that had the same profile. And then I'm approaching you. I'm going to show you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 8. Can you tell me what that is? So this is my Exhibit 16-3. It's labeled as two swabs from the tailgate of a truck with a license or a driver's uh, license plate number K66119. Kilo number, what was that? Uh, K number what? Kilo 66119. Okay. Now, uh, Your Honor, I'm going to request to publish what's been already as pre admitted States Exhibit 305 and 217. Okay. So there's a number that's right written on that uh, envelope, I believe, on the bottom left side. Can you read that number? Is it the state's exhibit number you're talking no, about? No, there's or? a no, hashtag. Oh, item number one. Okay, so this is state's exhibit 217, which is the back of the tailgate with some blood. It's been then marked number one what number is that right here? One. One. Okay. Is that the item you tested? I don't know if that is the item I tested because I did not see that truck. So this is the item I tested, whatever is in this envelope. Okay, so where did the swabs come from? The swabs are labeled as coming from the tailgate of truck K66119. Okay, thank you. And so I guess let's stick to these, uh, the DNA, forensic DNA report where, and I'll go ahead and I'll point it out for the court. It is 16-3.1, swab kit from tailgate of truck K66119. Can you tell us what your findings were after doing your analysis? Yes, so on that item, uh, there was human DNA consistent with originating from two or more contributors. Dominic Hernandez is not excluded, and Griselda, and Griselda Hernandez and Ronald Aviles are excluded as a source of the major contributor of human DNA on that item as well. There was additional DNA not attributed to Dominic Hernandez, but was of an insufficient quantity. Okay, so two things. Dominic Hernandez uh, was not excluded. Again, can you remind us what that means? That there was a match between the known profile of Dominic Hernandez and that item. And you said that there was more, but that you couldn't attribute it. Can you again remind us what that means? Just that there was an insufficient amount for me to develop a profile suitable for comparison. In other words, you would need more. Correct. Okay, so you, you testified that uh, you had the genetic profiles kind of as a, a, a control where you can 
you have the DNA profile and then you use it as a control when you analyze the items and then you can use that control to determine whose biolog biolog biological sample was on which item, correct? So I can get anybody's known profile and I would be able to compare that known profile to the unknown profiles. So yes, I have known profiles taken from individuals that I'm then making comparisons to the unknown items in the case with the objective of making a comparison between the two to see if someone is excluded or not excluded. And you testified that he had Dominic's, uh, what was that term you used, uh, known sample? Correct. And Mr. Burgos is known sample. Correct. So specifically when it comes to Dominic Hernandez and Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles, did you conclude anything after comparing their samples with one another? Are you talking about in, an, in terms of like a paternity? A pater or? Yes, in regards to paternity, what did you conclude after comparing their, example, uh, their samples? So that's back on the first DNA report. Um, so I was asked to um, perform a sort of a kin or like a biological parentage analysis between uh, the three individuals. So we know that Griselda Hernandez is the biological mother of Dominic Hernandez. And we know that children inherit half of their mom's DNA and half of their father's DNA. So what's left, I would subtract out the mother's cont contribution to his profile. And what's left are called obligate paternal alleles, which means that the biological father had to give those alleles to the child. And so with the obligate paternal alleles, you can compare any man's known profile, that's an alleged father, for example, to those obligate paternal alleles. And so I made a comparison between Ronald Burgos's DNA profile and that of Dominic Hernandez. And Ronald Burgos cannot be excluded as a biological parent of Dominic Hernandez cannot be excluded. There's that term again. That's the same term, yes. Same term as what we were discussing in the previous, uh, my previous questions. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you explain to the jury what a combined parentage index is? Yes, it's basically the same thing. It's like a likelihood ratio or statistic for the jury to understand what that means, that he's not excluded as a biological parent. So in this case, it was a probability of parentage of greater than 99.9%. and show you is the Marfa States Exhibit 46.3. Do you recognize this item? You don't have to say what it is, just do you recognize it? Yes. Okay, how, how do you recognize it? I have my um, CIL on it, as well as my initials, the date, and the exhibit number. Okay. I'm tendering to defense uh, States Exhibit 46.3 from the objection. Defense has no objections, Your Honor. I move to admit States Exhibit 43. That's correct, Your Honor. Admit it. So this is a swab box that would contain swabs inside of it. Pertaining to who? These are labeled as buckle swab samples con collected from the inner mouth of Ronald Anthony Burgos. And there's another item that I want to show you. States Exhibit, Mr. Marcus States Exhibit 35. Can you tell us what that is? 
So this is labeled as a black in color belt keeper found on the driver's side floorboard of a Ford F-150 truck of Border Patrol Unit K66119. And Your Honor, this is our exhibit. It's uh, State's Exhibit 35. What was that? Was that 47, that bag, the big bag? The big bag right there. 47. Okay. There is no 46 yet, right? Because the 46.3. 46 46 46 46 46 46 46 Just want to let you know, we have 46.3, but there is no 46 yet. Thank you. You can proceed. I just want to make sure we don't get mixed up. Well, Your Honor, uh, real quick, I'm showing you as been marked as stage exhibit 46. Uh, can you, do you recognize it? Yes. Uh, how do you recognize it? It has the CIL, my initial is the date, and the exhibit number on it. Thank you. I'm tendering to defense for any objections with what's been marked as State's Exhibit 46, Your Honor. Objection, Mr. Payne. No objection. Uh, 46, state 46 is in. And before I get into your findings and, and all that, let me just uh, show you the item. And this is going to be which item, Mr. Rahid? This is state's exhibit 35, Your Honor. Right. That's it. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and request permission to publish it, Your Honor. May. Is that the item you analyzed? Yes. Okay, and so let me, I believe this one was an item in the first, in your first report. Yes. Can you just find it? It's 11 8. Uh, 11 8, correct, correct. And so I'll go ahead and I'll publish the warrant, uh, the DNA report, okay? So that belt keeper tested positive for the presumptive presence of blood during serology. I, can, I took three different swabs from that item, um, from three different blood stains. Because there's multiple people involved, usually I would take separate swabs just in case. Um, so I, I retained three different swabs. So on the DNA report, they're itemized as 11 8.1, 2, and 3. Do you want me to talk about the results for yeah. the DNA? What were your findings? On all three of those, um, swabs from that belt keeper. Um, Griselda Hernandez is not excluded as a source of the DNA. 
and Dominic Hernandez and Ronald Burgos Aviles are excluded. And again, there's that term again. Is it the same, when you mean by not excluded, it means the same as we were discussing before? Yes. Unless you're going to use it again, put it back in the envelope, please. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's a witness, Your Honor. When, uh... oh, go ahead, Mr. Bog. Good morning, Ms. Ramos. Good morning. Um, Ms. Ramos, I, uh, on direct examination, you were asked a question. Uh, you were shown an ex a picture of an exhibit and you were asked, is this the item you tested? And you said, I don't know. I tested what was in the envelope. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And uh, you didn't perform any of the evidence collection in this case. Is that correct? I did not. Okay. And your results and the conclusions from them, as far as evidence to be believed by the jury, is only as good as the evidence collection process. Is that correct? Yes. So you're not here to tell this jury that the evidence collection was proper or perfect or offer any information about the evidence collection, are you? I have no opinion about the evidence collection, no. And uh, so for instance, you testified about um, blood on the stroller seat belt buckle. You don't know anything about how the blood came to be on the stroller uh, seat belt buckle, correct? No, I do not. And you don't know how uh, the stroller uh, seat belt buckle was collected, correct? I do not. And you don't know what uh, any of the uh, people on the scene um, did with that stroller seat belt buckle prior to it even being Objection, collected, Objection, honor, speculation. Correct? I do not. Um, and uh, contamination is the the biggest uh, enemy of proper DNA analysis. Is that correct or a fair thing to say? That is fair, yes. Okay. And uh, you have no control over contamination at the scene, correct? Correct. Okay. And uh, for instance, DNA transfer at the scene may uh, cause your results to be meaningless. Is that correct? My results to me are my results. I don't know what meaningless means to anybody else, but I'm speaking for the evidence that's submitted. So you uh, testified about um, a belt keeper um, uh, possible match to Mr. Burgos Avilas, is that correct? No, I believe he was excluded from the belt keeper. Okay. He was excluded from the belt keeper. Correct. He was uh, a match to 
the blood that was purportedly collected from the back of the truck. Is that correct? No, that is also not correct. I apologize. Could you, uh, what was the result of the testing regarding uh, what is purported to be the blood from the back of the truck regarding Mr. Burgos Avilas? So he was excluded as a donor of the um, DNA on the belt keeper. Let me go back to the truck. That one's item 16-3.1. So um, from that item, Dominic Hernandez is not excluded, and Griselda Hernandez and Ronald Burgos Aviles are excluded. And so, um, if I could just have one moment. A couple questions, Your Honor. Just a couple. Uh, uh, Ms. Morales, uh, I think you had stated uh, earlier in your, in your direct examination that uh, that you had also analyzed the fingernail clippings of the defendant, Mr. Burgos. Uh, yes, I received fingernail clippings from uh, Ronald Burgos Aviles. I'll need a reminder of which report it's on, if you don't yes, mind. Yes, I'm on that. If it's on. I believe it's on your July 30th, 2018. If you look at 8.3- or 8-3-1-1, swab from right hand fingernails. Yes. And there's two, then there's the left, and there's also right hand fingernail clippings. Correct. Um, so I guess now let's go to, so let me just publish 518 to show the jury what I'm referring to, or the court. Judge objection. I believe this is beyond the scope of the cross examination. So, again, here it is in the July 30, 2018, forensic serology report. You just testified that yes, you did have some fingernails, swabs, and clippings of the defendant. Correct. Now let's go to State's Exhibit 19, which is your forensic DNA report. Okay. Can you please tell us what your findings were in regards to those items? So on the first item, which is the um, swab tip from the right-hand fingernails of Ronald Burgos Aviles, there was human DNA which could not be attributed to him, but was of an insufficient quantity to develop a profile for comparison. Meaning there was DNA, not from him, just you didn't have enough? to make a determination as to who it could have been to. Correct. To. And the other two items in question, the um, left-hand fingernails um, of Ronald Burgos Aviles and the right-hand fingernail clippings, there was no human DNA foreign to Ronald Burgos Aviles on those items. Okay. What hand was that again? The no human DNA foreign to? Yes. Was the left-hand fingernails and the right-hand fingernail clippings. No further questions, Your Honor. No, no response, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. You are excused. You may go about your business. Thank, Thank you, Judge.